boys were Cyrus and Zishan. And we are at the exploration place here in Prince George, British Columbia, and we're gonna watch some garden snakes eat some rats or mice. You guys ready? Let's check it out. <gasps> Zishan, there's a bear. Cyrus is a big bear. Oh my god, he's gonna eat you. Was it scary? This is a garden snake, guys. This is a rat pinky. Okay. So, but when rats are born, they don't have any fur. Their eyes are closed, and you can't really see their ears. And you can see he's really hungry. This is okay, yeah. This is my hand is different right now. It's not. So, this is a uh, western terrestrial garter snake. They call this color pattern the checkered garter snake. He's gonna be able to swallow that whole thing? Yeah. Sometimes he takes a little while to go around because it's best if they swallow it from the head down. Um, if they get like the middle of the body or the back, it just kind of obstructs him. Yeah, you guys want to stand around and just want to make sure that we're not getting like right over him because then he won't want to eat and he'll keep his food up and it'll be gross. So if you guys watch him while he's eating, you can see that his mouth and his jaw actually moves back and forth because the way that their mouths are composed instead of having solid bones along his jaw like we do he's got a bone on each side and sort of elastic like muscles on the sides and in the middle that allow him to move his jaw bones up and down and side to side and that's how he's able to eat something that's like it's two or three times the size of his own head. The general rule is snakes can eat anything that is uh, smaller than the widest part of their body, but with smaller snakes like garter snakes, they can actually often eat things that are even bigger than that. Um, so sometimes you'll find them in the wild too where they're moving really slow and they've got like a huge like golf ball sized stomach and that's basically just because they ate something that's way too big. So we feed them rats. Uh, we fed them fish in the past too. In the wild they eat anything that'll fit in their mouth, even other snakes. Um, so they'll eat fish, frogs, tadpoles, slugs, worms. Other fish, other small snakes. Vermins. Yeah, other snakes, like other garter snakes. They're very opportunistic. Um, we actually had babies here one year, and the males were all trying to eat the babies when I came back. Thankfully, they didn't. But yeah, and I'll give him one more piece because he's he does pretty good eating more than one piece. So I don't cut I usually I don't cut his up but I cut the other ones up for them because they can't eat a whole, they can eat mouse pinkies because they're a lot smaller, but rat pinkies are too big for them to eat. <laughs> yeah, we feed them one at a time because otherwise they'll smell the rats and they have really poor vision. So they can see heat and they can smell rats and they'll automatically just start trying to eat each other, thinking that each other are, once they like bite each other, they're like, oh, that's a snake, not a rat. Same with your fingers, like they'll bite my fingers when I'm feeding them sometimes just because they're excited and they don't know what is where. Uh, no, their teeth are really, really tiny little like needle sized and they're very short and they don't have like a lot of jaw strength. So they usually don't even break the skin, it kind of feels like getting pinched with sandpaper sometimes. Uh, the bigger ones, like the females we have will break the skin if, if they were to bite. But even then it's not painful really, I wouldn't say. I've been bit by a lot of like wild garter snakes. These guys typically are pretty good. The only time they'll ever try to bite is when they think you're finger is food. So if you've got like the smell of a rat on your hand, and you put your hand in front of them, they'll try to bite. Okay, we're just gonna shut this up, okay? Um, about a week. Three to six days usually before they poop. And they eat once a week. Um, larger snakes like our ball python, he can eat every... Some people feed them every week, but that's pretty excessive. Every two or three weeks is pretty good for them. Like they eat so much at once that they don't need to eat consistently the way that like mammals do. Do they poop? They do. Um, and usually they poop and pee at the same time, sort of like a bird. Usually it's like a brown chunk with a white chunk surrounding it, and the white is basically their pee, it's uric acid. Um, and then like, the poop just looks like poop. <laughs> but the garter snakes have very small poops. <laughs> oh, he burped. <laughs> oh, it's like a burp. It's just like all that. Whatever was inside the rat, basically, that he has squeezed out. Sorry, what's that called? Um, and they know we're feeding them when we bring them because they're used to it. Oh my god! Guys, there's sharks right there!
ice is breaking. Oh my god, run, Cyrus! The ice broke! What is that? The ice broke. Oh, that is super cool. Like, there's... Oh. You got it all, dude. Whoa, you guys are seriously the best monkeys in the world. <laughs> Check out those big snakes right there. That's it. Python. Oh, let's go check out what's up here. Yeah. They found it. There's a new there. It's a million. I couldn't really tell. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Tortoise. Is that a tortoise? Yeah. Yeah, that's a tortoise. Yeah, one has one of a tortoise too. Can we go? Guys, check that out. That's a bearded dragon. Yeah. Is he are you cold? Yeah, I'm cold. <laughs> You're so brave, dude. Thanks for watching this next video. Give a thumbs up. And check out the video. Get a lot of videos. Ah, bye.